Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I hope you're doing great and I'm happy to see you here today. In this video, we are preparing another great scrub for your body and the main ingredient in this scrub is going to be chickpea flour or garbanzo flour as it's also called. Well, don't get surprised to see this much flour, um, chickpea flour. I normally make pancakes with it and just add it to the baking because of its great health benefits and I'll probably come up with a video about that as well. So the base for the scrub is going to be sugar and you could use any type of sugar. It could be brown sugar, it could be just regular white sugar, it could be turbinado sugar, so anything you have on hand pretty much. So I am going to you to start with sugar and I will need half a cup of sugar. I'm going to mix here everything in the bowl uh, and then you could transfer it to beautiful jars, give it as a gift and enjoy using it. So the next ingredient will be definitely the chickpea flour. Well, the reason we're using uh, chickpea flour is actually it's really beneficial for our skin and it's been, um, you know, very popular Indian beauty skin remedy for centuries. It has a very soft, gentle texture. And for the scrub, we shall need three tablespoons. So when I'm talking about the texture, well, it's flour, so it absolutely has a floury texture. But when we would never use regular flour for our scrubs, well, cheapy flour would do wonders to your skin. It won't really change the color of the scrub. It will be like ivory color. So I think using chickpea flour in the scrubs is a great idea because um, obviously the exfoliating part, you know, it's the sugar is responsible for that. But the chickpea flour will definitely help the sugar to polish, you know, your entire body. You can concentrate on the arms, on the legs, on the dry areas. And what's more important is that it will give your skin, you know, after using the scrub, some silky, soft, smooth finish. So that's what I really like about it. The next ingredient, we obviously need to use some oil part. And um, today I'm going to use sweet almond oil for this recipe. I think it's going to work really great in here. But if you don't have sweet almond oil on hand, no worries. You could use any other oil, let's say sunflower oil, maybe hemp oil, maybe avocado oil, or simply olive oil would definitely work. So, but my choice is for sweet almond oil because I really love it in this particular recipe and of course it's, you know, it's great benefits for your skin are amazing. And what I really want to mention here is that um, sometimes I use different oils in my scrubs. Well, first of all, of course, I'm doing it to have something different. But second of all, if you're taking care of your skin, it's very important, you know, as with the diet, you have a variety of different ingredients that you apply on it. So it could really benefit from everything. So for the recipe, we should need three to four tablespoons of uh, sweet almond oil. I'm saying three to four tablespoons because people have different preference. Some prefer their scrubs to be on the dry side. Some prefer to be them, you know, a little bit to, you know, a little bit more like wet. I personally like my scrubs to be more on the dry side. So like paste. So um, that's why I would say it would be good with just three tablespoons. All you need to do is just make sure you mix it. I won't really need a spoon anymore. So I would just mix it, mix it everything with the spatula. So my scrub has a paste consistency and I find it easier for me to use when I really want to exfoliate my skin. So um, obviously, you know, and it doesn't really matter three to four tablespoons, you will still get all the benefits of the oil because using the oil in the scrub, I think it's essential because just right after exfoliating your skin, it's very important to moisturize it at the same time. So once we have our scrub mixed, I would go ahead and add the essential oils. Well, the essential oils choice, of course, are going to be endless again. I mean, it depends on your skin condition, what you want to treat. Maybe you want to treat body acne and you would um, add some bergamot essential oil. You would add some tea tree essential oil. Today, I'm going to add some orange essential oil because I really want to have that, you know, nice mood and um, every time I take a shower in the morning. So sweet orange oil would be, you know, one of the best choices for me right now. I'm going to use about 10 drops. But you could also dilute it, you know, according to the essential oils proportion. You know, this one um, has two to five percent and my scrub already smells amazingly. Well, another recommendation for the um, scrub I could give is that if you are, if, let's say you prefer to take the shower in the evening and you want to relax, of course, you could go ahead and use lavender essential oil. I also love using the Relax Energy Blend because it's pretty much already the blend and it really helps me to 
relax and I do know that I sleep better. Hope you guys will like this recipe. Another recommendation, if you want to go ahead and use something more like, not for your mood or relaxation, but for your skin, you could use rose essential oil. So once you have a perfect scrub and wonderful aroma, um, you could definitely triple the recipe if you want to. This scrub would, would last for three to six months and you could, you know, it would be stable at room temperature. If you want, of course, you could refrigerate it, but it's not really recommended. So if you go in to really store it, I would recommend it to transfer it to the dark, you know, um, glass container because we're using essential oils with the lid. And every time you are going to take it in the shower, I always say in my videos where I'm making anything, when you're gonna use it in the shower. Be careful not to carry glass in there because it might break and be, ca be careful because we're using oil, the shower might get slippery. If you want, of course you could add preservatives to the scrub and if you, know, if you store it and um, you see that it became dry, it's not really a big deal, you could add more oil and, or once you start using it in the shower and the wet skin it would definitely be normal consistency again. And besides, um, you know, it, really will be stable uh, unless you take it in the shower let's say the whole batch and the water comes in there so the bacteria mold will grow so that's um, definitely no no with DIY recipes and I really find it so simple just to prepare a small amount if you're doing it for yourself it takes like three minutes it's, it's the video is longer because of me talking a lot so I really hope you guys like this recipe you like this video we will definitely try this scrub this is something new using the chickpea flour and here I just wanted to give you a close-up look of this scrub so you can see it's a perfect consistency, perfect consistency for me. It's like a thick paste, but of course, if you prefer your scrub a little bit on the wet side, you could add more oil. This is just easier for me to use it if I want to have like a little more exfoliation. If you prefer you also have a little more moisturizing effect, just go ahead and add more oil. So if you guys like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can always get the notifications once I upload a new video. And as always, guys, I want you to be happy, healthy, thankful, and try to enjoy every single day of your life, and I'll see you in my next video.